All right, guys, we are December 4th, 2023 with a crypto Bitcoin update. Bitcoin update from Bitcoin Jam. Now, God, do never call me that. <laughs> never call me that. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's do a little update of what's been happening. A lot of movement last night. Uh, on Saturday at 1400 hours, we saw a huge volume and a jump in price on Bitcoin. And then last night, uh, around after 11 p.m. Eastern time, you can see right here on the Coinbase Pro GDAX chart. I call it GDAX because that's what it was originally named when I started using it in 20, 2017. OG baby. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we have about midnight. You can see the, the, the 12 4, you know, right when a day switched over from the third to the fourth. Boom. Come on, coming in hot over 41K, Big Daddy. Uh, coming in hot. And uh, you come, you're, it's just been going up volume, volume. Look at that. It's just leveling off more and more and more. Yum, 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 yummy. Eating up that, eating up that volume. Look at that. More volume. The thing broke 42,000. Holy crap. Right? On a Sunday at midnight Eastern time. What is happening? So it ran all that morning time. So I'm wondering if this is overseas stuff uh, east of here because look at all this. It's our midnight Eastern time to about 6 ish, 6 15 a.m. Eastern time. And then you get boom, peak, and then you start getting the slide. You get a volume, a lot of volume, a lot of red slide right here, right in the middle. And maybe people dumping, taking profits because 42 from 38. Holy crap. You know, people are making money if you're doing this right. Not me. I don't know how. <laughs> Do not listen to what I say. So, yeah, then we got the old dump and then uh, leveled off, came back up a bit, not breaking 42,000. And now we're kind of hovering down to 41,255. A little run there, man. A little run. And now we're about what time? Oh, my God. Oh, we're already at 11 o'clock. Woo! Time goes by, baby. Anyway, that's your little Bitcoin update from Bitcoin Jam. Here's your candles. Yeah, here's your, uh, here's your proje projections. I don't know, man. People start doing candles and trend line analysis. On Run. Take it as, a, as entertainment. Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows what the price is going to do. Someone could do a tweet. We know who about some little doggy coin and the the price could go to the moon or it could go to zero you there's it's all speculation man it's like digging in a mountain looking for gold you're speculating <clears throat> so yeah just watch that crap and I, I get so annoyed with it i don't not annoyed i just want people are falling for this crap it's all voodoo they sit there every day looking oh look at the look at the trend line you just don't know and again if those guys are really doing well and wealthy they would not be on youtube making videos i make nothing doing this i'm just killing time so i thought i would share my stupidity with others and we all can be uh, stupid together and but have fun if you're not having fun doing this then why are you doing it i know you want to make money but odds are you're not going to make money because you won't know when to sell when the price is up you won't know when to take profits and that is the real discipline if you can master that yeah and i i, I think what worked for me once was i was on tesla i was up I pulled out my core investment. I let the house money ride, the money I made, the unrealized gain. And it was fun, took a lot of pressure off. And then that rose and went down. Now it's down 20%. So I, it sucks, but Tesla is what it is. They're, you know, they're a target of the government now. Oh, uh, but that's just the name of the game. Maybe it'll go back up, maybe it won't. And having said that, with every crypto video you see out there, and they're doing the candles and all this crap and the trends and the merging vortexes and the perfect store, all this crap. They always then say, it could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. And it could always do nothing. It's the same old crap every day. It's just went, wow. But it gets clicks. It gets clicks and views and God bless them. They figured out a way to make clicks and views and make pennies and get paid from YouTube, I guess. I have no idea. I wish I knew because I'm not making anything. If I get 10 bucks on a video, I'd be happy. I'm not making, I'm not even monetized. I must have said something that upset the, uh, the powers that be, I don't know. Anyway, there we are, stupid price today. Let's go on for some other stuff. This is a random video, who cares? It's all just for information and fun. Uh, there was another thing I was going through getting my uh, 
Raptorium, Raptorium, Raptorium wallet set up. I got my address, blah, blah, blah. Then I realized I had this other wallet running. And this is another altcoin. I, I'm going to say shit coin because what are you going to do with them, right? Uh, you just collect all these little bags of coins. And you you're, you're have this hopium. Hopium that one day it's going to go to the moon, which it may not. You just don't know. Odds are it won't. Because <laughs> this one here is Pulsar. They don't even have an active website, which makes me nervous, but it is still a coin I mined briefly. And I think I went through their Discord. I think some of these coins, let's see, these coins, these projects have Discord set up. And Discord's a pain in the butt to use. I don't like it. I had a Discord. I just got rid of it. I don't know. But anyway, they had a Discord. I mined it. I mined it on Zerg Pool. So go to Zerg Pool if you want to mine this or check it out. It's ticker PLSR. And if you even click on the website, watch. Boom. That's not a good sign. But having said that, you can still mine it. And you can see what's happening two hours ago. Here's all the blocks. It's still out there running. It doesn't have a website. Guys, get a website. You, you look more official. Uh, let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, let's go back to the wallet. So I remember mining this. This is over at least a year and a half ago. I did this crap. So I'm still trying to find all this stuff again. So like you hear, these guys had laptops with Bitcoin on it or all these coins and they go to the moon. They can't find their laptops. I don't remember it where the wallet is. That's me. I have all these little bags of little coins <laughs> everywhere. And it's, it's just stupid. And, uh, I, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking about taking some of them and consolidating them into Bitcoin. Yeah, I don't know yet. Because then I got to pay a lot of fees just to move it. So say you have 100 bucks in coins, all the fees after you get it off a smart node into a wallet, boom, fee, boom, boom, boom. Fee up to the exchange, fee, 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 boom, boom, boom. Sell it, fee, boom, boom, boom. All right, I got the little the little bastard in the Bitcoin. Oh, it's on the exchange. Get your money off the exchange. Get your coins off the exchange now. <laughs> you can only and ever will lose everything when they lock down or go bankrupt. Look at uh, look at Blo uh, Voyager. Look at BlockFi, dudes. Careful out there. Oh, uh, yeah, and then you want to move your Bitcoin off the exchange back to your wallet. Fee. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so <clears throat> after $100 valuation of fiat of a coin and you're doing all that hoops, you maybe come back. <laughs> I'm just going to joke. 50 bucks. Who knows? It's just ridiculous. But it's a hobby. It's fun. You learn the ecosystem and you become a better human. All right, here is Pulsar. This is the core wallet based on the QT wallet, I guess. They're all based on the same wallet, uh, the same software, and they customize it, which is fine. You take a baseline and you, and you rip off and duplicate or just modify it and customize it to your own coin. Uh, yeah, they all have the same layout. Red coin, Raptorium wallet, it's the same look and feel, which is nice. It, uh, <clears throat> it provides consistency across the domain so it makes things easier to learn and so there's not all these one-off wallets with different menus different options there's one pretty much standard all right next so paul sorry i mined this thing to my wallet and this is on a windows rig i just have this stupid thing running and uh i'm getting pulsar i have a i think i have the other raptorium wallet on here and uh i have Redcoin. i've had that forever oh my god i don't remember Redcoin. I might actually bought red bought is that a word I'm, i might have actually purchased red coin in 2016 or 17 and then i stuck it in the wallet i'm still getting staking rewards on it but it's like a millionth of a fraction of a percent of a penny so it's kind of fun uh and now with pulsar i have no idea what the value is i don't it's not even re reflected on here but um uh, I, I mined it i mined to this core wallet the pulsar wallet and uh for a while, I wasn't getting any staking rewards. So if you if you uh, mine to your wallet, and then you unlock the wallet right down here, you make it unlocked. What 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 for staking purposes only? Yeah, currently unlocked. Wallet is encrypted and unlocked. Is uh you are hopefully just going to get staking rewards based on the competition. Right now, it's funny. I've been getting a freaking ninety pulsar every day. So I don't know, that might be no one else is mining it or using it. I have no idea. I've lost, I remember once when I did this, looking at their Discord, they said, your staking is based on the other people mining and where you rank or something like that in that pool. And uh, now I've been getting it every day. So maybe just people hit, maybe it just has died off. I have no idea. 
Point being, you can mine to a wallet on your on your um, rig, your desktop, wherever, and receive staking rewards, much like mining Raptorium. But when you mine a Raptorium on your local wallet, you don't get staking rewards. You have to move it up to the smart nodes like inode Z. But when you do that, they are not your keys, not your coins. But with Pulsar, they are my keys. My I have them right here on my wallet. So that's a nice thing. But again, this is all ecosystem stuff. It, it's, we're not talking money, really. We're not talking real money. Uh, it's just showing you how things work. All right, there is Pulsar. I have Redcoin as well. I know I have some other ones. I just don't know where the, oh my God, I put them on a disc on a rig and I deactivated the rig. Oh, who cares? <laughs> it's not worth, I think it's avian, like the water. I bet I have that one. I have no idea. But yeah, that's why I'm just sticking with the top three. I don't like Litecoin anymore. I'm, I'm, it's like a ex-wife I have to deal with now and then. But uh, yeah, I just wish it would perform. You know, maybe get a booty call from her now and then and come on Litecoin, give me a booty call and let's go to 400. <laughs> that's all I'm thinking. All right, what else do you want to talk about? That's about it for this video. I wanted to say uh, current Bitcoin update. Boom. 40, holding at 41. What is that? 41.3, Big Daddies. And uh, looking at this Coinbase Pro again, I misread it. Uh, even though it says sell here, this is the uh, book order, the orders on the book, books for Bitcoin for purchase and selling. This is the current price at. It's a wall. It's like a tug of war. And these are your orders. What this is saying is these are your buy orders backed up. Even though it says sell, this is what they're willing to sell. This is the amount of Bitcoin that will sell at the cost. That is what that's saying. But these are all buy orders backed up. So you can see what people are, have their buy orders at, and they're all down here. Like, I want to buy it at 41000 Here's the amount of Bitcoin I want to buy at that amount. All right? These are the buy orders. These are the sell orders. And this is what you can buy it at when they sell it. I forgot how to read it the other day on the live stream. So it's been so long, man. It's been since 2017 since I used this thing. But it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a, an analyst type tool. It gives you a warm fuzzy or, or a way to kind of see what's happening in the market, what the interest is. It's pretty balanced out. You got all these sell orders if we get back up to... Uh, 41 here's a here's a cliff right here when you see a vertical here let's look at this one 41.5 there's some sell orders a lot of people look at right here they're looking to buy down at the 41,000 range again so they're looking for that new base that new base price and it looks like 41,000 may be it i have no idea that's just way of reading and i'm just guessing i'm an idiot do not listen to me uh yeah because i got it wrong yesterday i was misreading it because i always thought green meant buys but i saw the sell word here and it was throwing me off. So there, what did, what did I do then? I went to the freaking site and read the book, the manual on what the hell this mean and how to read it. Duh. If you're in doubt, go read the manual. Most of the stuff is in the manual. Yeah. So we got a lot of sales down the road. And on the right here, you can see the orders going through. You know, all the reds, people are dumping some of it. People are buying. It's, it's pretty balanced right now. And what is today? Oh, there's some sales. Oh, a bunch of sales. Spoke too soon. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's going back up. But it's Monday, so people, which is funny. All right. The cool thing about the cryptocurrency world is it's 24-7. Then you're dealing with the old school dinosaur equities markets, which are based on bankers hours, you know, whenever the Wall Street's open and the exchanges on the uh, stocks in different countries. And now these guys are back at work today. They're looking at this going, oh, and that has a thing to do with, it, do with it. But again, looking at last night, all the activity happened at about 11.30 Eastern time, p.m., 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, all the way up to about 6, what is that? 6.15 Eastern time. So that is telling me, I don't know, if you have normal sleep patterns, this is someone overseas is, was, was, uh, was moving some stuff. A lot of interest overseas. That's just my guess. I'm trying to read the data because most people are snoring. They, they, you know, they came home. They had their hot pocket. They watched some Netflix. They said, "Oh, crypto, crypto's holding," and they went to bed. And then they, uh, they're still sleeping. And overseas, the this, this, this stuff starts moving. Bah, 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 and then it stops. And now they went to bed. And now the U.S. markets pick up about nine, and then it starts going down. <laughs> 
I don't know if there's any correlation. That's just my guess. Yeah, not financial advice, just entertainment purposes only. All right, guys, what else do you want to talk about? Oh, 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 forgot. Update. CPU mining, big daddies. Big daddies. All right, what do we got here? I got seven devices. What? Bitcoin Jim, where did you get that new new device? Where did you get that new rig, Bitcoin Jim? I thought you said you weren't going to buy any more hardware. Bitcoin Jim, don't lie to us. All right, calm down. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm losing it. All right, number two. Number two, who does number two work for? Let number two know who's boss. All right. We got Rocco Taco 2. And that is, look at that. That is my little baby AMD Ryzen 5 six core processor. <clears throat> Just sitting up on our, this was the rig. I slapped together for my kid to play Roblox. And then these, the stupid Roblox, I, I didn't have the freaking video card or memory set up right, so it was it was barfing on it. I said, screw it. The kid went back to a laptop. <laughs> I I sold a power supply on that rig on eBay yesterday for pennies. So I ripped that off. I said, well, wait a minute. I got a rig up here now just sitting with memory in it. It's only got one memory stick. I ran out of memory. Every All the other rigs have at least two channels of memory. This one just has one 2400, I think, DDR4. And I just fired it back up and I'm hanging it from the, the baking rack here. And I made another video, a, a short about, it looks like a Borg machine, a cube. All my, all my, my uh, CPU rigs hanging. So I fired a little bastard up and look, I'm getting 3.73 kilo ash a second. 3.73 is better than zero. Uh, it's pennies on the dollar. It's probably 30 cents on average a day. And I don't know if I have it lot. Uh, I don't, I don't have it on. I don't have the display connected. All right. But hey, why not? Right. Add to the pot. A little, little more is better. Uh, I do have. Um, I actually have another AMD sitting up there, but I'll need a memory stick. So I, I'll need to buy three new memory sticks. I don't want to spend the money. Why spend the money on the money I'm making? Like one, it's a 136.73 right now since mining, let's say almost over a week and a half, right? And now I'm at eight bucks a day. It's kind of holding. It's, it was up to 15 bucks last night a day. It fluctuates, right? But I don't want to throw any more hardware at this stuff. So I'm trying to kind of just scavenge what I have around. And I'm glad I can get rid of all that stuff. I got rid of the GPUs, thank God. Big, um, yeah. <laughs> heat, heat, electricity, noise, space, <laughs> and dust bunny. They like to collect dust. Uh, yeah. Now they're gone. They have a new home. All right. Yeah, so I turned that puppy on. But right now I'm out of memory. I have some older memory in a rig, but I, I don't think it's worth it. it it's a older memory from a gaming PC, which was a great mining machine. So I used that little Asus motherboard, which had a lot of six, 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 uh, 1660 Ti's hanging out of it. That was a nice little machine. Older tech sometimes work better, works better than newer. I don't know. All right, and that's it, guys. I don't know. I'm going to bore you. So that's a uh, December 4th, 2023 Bitcoin Jim crypto update. <laughs> Keeping it real. No, God, don't ever call me Bitcoin Jim, please. And uh, remember, guys, it can always go up. Boom. Well, I say that. Hold on. It can always go up. It may go down. It could go sideways. Or it could do nothing at all. Remember that. And do not listen to people on YouTube for any financial advice. This is for entertainment only. And I like other guys that do like real stuff, financial planning and retirement. They say the same thing. And I like those guys because they say you should not be getting your financial advice on YouTube. You need to go sit down or get on the phone with a professional who knows this stuff and you trust, not some guy that's going to take your money to make money for himself through expenses and fees. Uh, yeah, I did that through Ameriprise once. Oh my God, they made more money off my money than I made. I flatlined and they were making money and expenses hand over fist. Yeah, watch yourself. Anyway, go forward to a great thing. Bitcoin Jim, yeah, I said it. <laughs> no, uh, talk to you later, out. Bum, 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 bum.